I am currently the legal officer for the department and um, every day, whereas I might not be in the, in the spotlight, I, I continue to do my best in the way I can to, to guide police officers to assist as much as possible to, to advance the law. Okay, now how does your office work um, alongside or work in concert with the DPP's office because we know that ultimately when charges are to be brought, etc., the decision, we are told, is usually or should be made by the DPP. Well, certainly the, in relation to, to criminal matters, the DPP has the, the constitutional um, um, responsibility or constitutional role for which the, the police cannot question. But we, um, my role is to assist police officers to, to prepare better files um, as it goes before, um, the, before they go to the DPP. Okay, now, um, you know, there is, the, there is so much police and legal work that needs to be done in order to upgrade the level of prosecutions, what ultimately goes to court. Is there the organization within the department, which has, has usually historically been about organizing um, persons for patrol and the interdiction of crime? Is there the culture within the department to engender the type of legal precision that you and others who are, uh, who are lawyers now want to try and bring? Yes, there, there, has, there have been that and we continue to, we continue to do that. Um, uh, I said a lot of the work that we have been doing has been behind the scene, but we continue to, to show that we improve the systems. We have been um, in, service travel, in service training sessions that I have done since I've, I came back and we continue to, to do that to us to improve the police officers overall. Okay, so now do you see yourself continuing to work um, after you've uh, whatever served out your bond as a lawyer in the, in the police department, knowing that right now, if you be real, oh no, no, they get paid for be a lawyer, they get paid as a policeman. Yes, um, yes, Jules, but my thing is that, um, born aside, my, my commitment is to continue to serve until reaching re the retirement age. As I said before, I'm grateful for the, the financial, though it did not cover all the, the expenses associated with my training. I got financial assistance. I was on study leave with 80% salary, so I, I must, um, the conscience within me to, to pursue and continue to serve the department and the country on a whole.